So today we'll be talking about uh, introduction to the Viva Learning Extensibility. Hi, I am uh, Divyanka. Uh, I am working as a product manager at Microsoft Viva Learning, and here I'm joined by my colleague Gita. Hey everyone, I'm the PMM on Microsoft Viva inbound team. Uh, I'll be online to answer any of your questions on chat and supporting Divyanka. Thank you, Gita. Moving on. Let's quickly see the agenda for today. So firstly, we'll be looking at a overview of Viva Learning, followed by how, what, and when of the Graph APIs. Then we look at how to get started and followed by some of the resources that you can take a look at. To understand Viva Learning and why this product is so different from the others in the market, we have to take a look at the current learning landscape. There are several categories of learning solutions and platforms that have dominated the learning market. Learning content providers are the actual source for the actual learning content and courses. Then we also have the learning management systems or the LMS, which are typically the admin and management tools which are used to track compliance and training progress and to get insights on the overall learning adoption within the organization. Then we have the learning experience platforms or the LXPs, which tend to be more end user facing. These LXPs provide the recommendations to end users on different courses and skills that they should learn based on what they have already discovered, consumed and the skills that they are trying to learn. So what this leaves us with, there's a host of different solutions out there in the market, but they often suffer pretty low engagement levels. The engagement mark is below 10% outside of the mandatory trainings consumption. Why does this happen? So this happens because employees have to navigate through these trainings outside of their typical work surfaces, meaning employees will have to consciously decide to step outside of their email, file, collaboration spaces where they're doing their daily work and launch their LMS or LXP separately to focus on learning. They don't find the time and ease of access to integrate learning throughout their day to day work experiences. And that's why we see this low engagement among the employees. So what if we had this new way of learning that intertwined the experience of learning and personal development throughout the work surfaces that you're already working in? And that brings us to Viva Learning. Viva Learning is an in the flow learning solution for employees to discover, share and consume the learning content from libraries across your organization. Viva Learning is built for Microsoft Teams and Microsoft 365. This means Viva Learning is in the unique position to truly bring learning to where employees are working, like integrating into Teams chat and tabs and throughout Microsoft and Bing search. Your employees are already using Teams as a decentralized learning platform. In every meeting, every chat, every document collab, people are sharing information, gaining knowledge, learning new things and growing. Viva Learning brings structured features, capabilities and integrations with the formal learning to supercharge the learning activities natively occurring in every Teams environment. With learning being an extension of the productivity platform rather than a separate entity, it is easier for the employees to prioritize their growth and development. And learning becomes inherently social, which data shows is the most effective way to learn. Plus, for the managers and organization leaders, it sends a signal to the employees that they are prioritizing a culture of learning and growth by placing it top of mind and making it easier to access learning investments that they have made. Here on this slide, we see an animation that shows Viva Learning Teams chat composition feature. As you can see, you can send a learning course right from your chat composition box. No stepping out to a separate app to interact with learning. We are bringing learning right to where you are. We as Viva Learning have partnered with leading learning providers and learning management systems in the market to make Viva Learning a comprehensive and extensible learning platform. Providers like Pluralsight, Coursera, GoOne and the others on the slide offer breadth and depth of learning content spanning industries, roles and subjects. And our three LMSs, Cornerstone On Demand, 
SAP success factors and Saba Cloud bring advanced learning features into Viva Learning 2, such as the assignments and the learner records. We are also going to integrate with Workday as an LMS partner and building graph APIs, which will allow you to connect any learning provider or learning management system to your Viva Learning tenant, even if they aren't a part of a pre-configured partners. With this, let's look at the how, what and when of the Viva Learning Graph APIs. Starting with the how. Uh, there are, uh, this particular slide shows us how the learning sources integration at Viva Learning work. There are two use cases that we are supporting. The first one is the content catalog sync. Users can discover the content from their LMS or the learning providers within Viva Learning and consume this content within the Viva Learning or their provider platform. Then we have the learner records sync, which helps the users to discover the assigned as well as completed trainings from their learning provider within Viva Learning. Now let's look at how these integrations work through this diagram. Starting from the right hand side, we have the LMS or the 3P learning sources, which have the learning content as well as the assignment and completion records. When talking about the out of box integrations, these work through the pull models. So the content and assignment and completion records are pulled into the Viva Learning using this out of box integrations connector. The records are fetched using the fetcher post which the data is processed and synced on to the Viva Learning data store from where this data is surfaced within the Viva Learning. Now talking about the second method, which is the graph APIs. Graph APIs uses the push mechanism for integration. Using the push mechanism, the content catalog as well as the assignment and completion records from the LMS or 3P sources can be pushed on to the Viva Learning using the content sync as well as the learner record sync APIs. The learner record sync APIs includes the assignment as well as the completion sync scenarios. Once this data is pushed onto the Viva Learning, it is then synced on to our backend data store from where it is serviced into the Viva Learning. As you can see on the left hand side, we have the Viva Learning and all the uh, content catalog from the customer is visible onto the Viva Learning platform. And we also have the learner's assignment and completed courses available within Viva Learning. Now let's look at the different scenarios that are supported with each of our three APIs. Starting with the content sync APIs. These APIs allow you to sync in the content for a tenant within Viva Learning. The scenarios supported are provider registration to register the provider. You can also enable or disable and update the register provider. You can use the provider registration ID for the content ingestion. The other scenarios that are supported are the CRUD operations for the content. So you can ingest the learning content with the required metadata. You can update, delete and retrieve the ingested learning content. Moving on to the assignment sync APIs. These APIs help sync in the learners assignments within Viva Learning. The scenarios supported are you can ingest the learner assignment record. Uh, the record would be for the learner and the learning content. You can also update, delete and retrieve the ingested assignment record. You can also retrieve all the assignments for a learner and retrieve all the assignments for a learner for a specific learning content. Next, we have the completion sync APIs. These APIs help sync the learners completed trainings within Viva Learning. The scenario supported are you can ingest the completion record for a learner and the learning content and also update, delete and retrieve the ingested completion record. You can also retrieve all the completion records for a learner. This slide shows how the Viva Learning content will appear within Viva Learning after the ingestion. So the ingested content will appear in the browse courses section under the provider section. Here you have the Contoso carousal under which all the courses that were ingested for this particular provider are being shown. This slide shows how the learner assignments appear in Viva Learning. So the assignments appear in the My Learning tab under the Assigned to You section. And this slide shows the completed courses within Viva Learning. So the user will be able to see their completed trainings in the My Learning section in the My Learning tab under the completed section. 
This leads me to the big announcement uh, for today. The Content Sync Graph APIs are now in public preview. This shows the detailed timelines for all the different graph APIs. So we just completed the private preview for our Content Sync APIs, and we have three partners who have already successfully integrated using our Content Sync Graph APIs. So now we have our Graph APIs available in the public preview. Soon after the public preview, we'll have our Graph APIs available uh, in GA. Soon after the public preview of Content Sync APIs, we'll also be announcing the Learner Record Sync APIs private preview. This slide shows how you can get started with the Viva Learning Graph APIs. Follow the instructions on the below uh, public documentation for using the Content Sync Graph APIs to start connecting your or your customers, LMS or learning providers to Viva Learning. This process typically takes around a month. These are some other set of resources that you can take a look at to learn more about the Viva Learning for product information and also for deep dive. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Really, really cool stuff and awesome to have Viva Learning APIs and extensibility finally available. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you so much.